Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome to another short review. Today I'm going to show you how to back up all your files from your iPhone or Android phone without using a cloud provider. In this case, I'm going to have a look at the SanDisk Expand Drive. In this case, it's the USB-C version because I've done already quite a few videos about this stick here and there's also an alternative version. If you go to the Apple Store, this stick will cost you around about 110 bucks. But if you have a look into the video description, it will only cost you 60 bucks. This stick should work with iOS and Android. And if you do have any further questions, make sure to leave a comment below. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure to download the SanDisk Expand Drive app. It's available for free and it has a size of 122.3 megabytes at the moment. Before you start the backup, make sure you go into display and brightness control, go to auto lock and set never. Since you want to avoid that the iPhone closes while doing a backup, because I don't know if it will continue doing the backup or not while the display is closed. Otherwise, I would lower the brightness once you're in the app and you're doing the backup just to save some battery, just in case that your phone is already dying. So use the stick, put it into your iPhone. The direction doesn't really matter. Then you're getting a message right here. Expand Drive would like to communicate with your phone. This is at the moment in German, should be in English on your phone. View license and agreement, you need to accept to those conditions and you can decide whether you want to share some information with SanDisk or not. In this case, I'm gonna allow it. Then you can take a tour or set up my expand drive. Skip for now. You need to allow this app to have access to your photos. In this case, I would like to allow it otherwise i can't back up my files then you can also have access to your apple library it gives you some tips all across the app i'm gonna skip that for now you see my internal storage is 512 gigabytes of which i have 340 gigabytes free i'm using one gigabyte of 256 gigabyte on this stick here at the moment. You can also do an auto backup once the stick is attached to your phone. You can backup your contacts. Last, your last backup was never since the stick is new. And you can also connect to your Google Photos to store them here on this external device. Let's assume that you want to take some videos and photos and you don't have any space left on your internal storage of your phone, you can click on that camera symbol up here, allow the camera to have access to this stick and uh, also on the microphone. And then you can start to record and take pictures straight away from your phone onto this external drive, which is super nice. Or even if you don't want to waste the storage, of your phone and you have a longer project that needs to be recorded onto an external device, you can do it straight away here onto the stick. Copy files. I can copy all my photos from the iPhone or and copy it onto my stick. I can view the files which are either on the expand drive or on the phone. And I can do now a backup of my contacts. Can also allow an automatic backup anytime the stick is attached and backup and restore. I can enable auto backup, which I will skip here for a moment. What you want to do is backup your camera roll. Now hit backup and then it's backing up all the files which are on the internal storage of my phone onto this stick here. You can also pause it just in case you have tons of files. I don't know what the app is going to do anytime you close it while it's doing the backup. I would avoid it anytime. So in this case, I would go into flight mode. And if it's serious, I would also turn off Wi-Fi and make sure your battery is fully charged. So I'm backing up at the moment around about 30 files from 499 files. And this is going to take some time. You may also copy PDF files, so as MP3 files from that stick onto the iPhone or vice versa. You can play back tons of files 
for instance, MKV files, which are stored here on the stick. Once you are at home on your computer or Mac, you're gonna see some folders, kind of the same structure like this one here. Here are two video files, which were already stored on this stick here. Just to give you a short introduction, I got some files here from 2017. These ones are some files from 2022. As you can see, the stick automatically orders them in the correct time frame. These ones are some pictures and videos from September 2022. Here are some files from October. This one here is a live picture. This one here as well. That's a PNG file. So it helps you to organize the files straight away, which is super nice. And I can put on some MP3 files now and play back them PDF files and copy them onto my phone. So 110 bucks in the Apple store, only 60 bucks using the link provided in the video description below. If you have any further questions, please make sure to leave a comment below. If not, make sure to subscribe and Merry Christmas. Bye bye.